I'm a practicing 3D CGI artist and I'm really interested in how we can inform and support the discovery process in science. So my research brings together art and design and medical visualizations. And one of the applications we're using this in is improving communication of medical issues to patients. The problem at the moment is we have medical scans that are difficult to understand by a lay patient. MRI scans and CT scans and x-rays, they're often black and white, they're designed for medics, they're not designed for lay patients. So the work that I'm doing is exploring how we can take that data and enhance it using 3D computer graphics techniques that we use in the games and film visual effects industries. So we're exploring two different types of experience. One that's screen based um, and it's a visualization that plays a bit like a movie. The second um, experience that we're exploring is a virtual reality one where the user and the medic would put on a headset. So in this work we're taking the real scan data from the patient and we're visualizing it in three dimensions using computer graphics and then we're allowing the medic and the patient to go inside their data and see the problem area, for instance, renal artery stenosis or other health vascular conditions. The most exciting part for me is now we're starting to try it and use it in the clinical context. For a doctor, it's a huge difference. I don't have to explain the image and where, where you are in the image. The patient's actually in the images and walking along it. And I can just identify things as we go. I guess the difference is on um, reading a roadmap and getting a sat nav seeing the artery that was uh, smaller and not getting the blood cells, that was incredible, and seeing the cholesterol on it really made everything very clear as why people have strokes and why I had a stroke. If we can make the body's inner landscape more meaningful, the possibilities are endless. We're currently prototyping a new virtual reality space where we can take young researchers on a virtual field trip to a cancer cell to observe its behavior. These environments might be virtual, but the impact is very real. And as these technologies evolve, who knows where they'll take us?